How animals survive. Class 4. Science. Like plants, animals have also developed certain features, which help them to survive in their environment. Those animals that cannot adapt to the changes in their environment, slowly die out. Example. Dinosaurs. Types of animals. Based on the absence, or presence, of a backbone, animals can be divided into two groups. Animals without a backbone. And, animals with a backbone. Let us learn about them. Animals without a backbone. Animals that do not have a backbone are called, invertebrates. Examples are insects, such as, cockroach. And, and, worms such as, slug, and snail. Insects have six legs and their body is divided into three parts. Head, thorax, and abdomen. Most insects have a hard outer covering made up of a material called, chitin. A few insects such as mosquitoes, and butterflies, can fly. Animals with a backbone. Animals that have a backbone are called vertebrates. They can be further divided into smaller groups. Let us learn about each group. Fish. This group consists of a large variety of animals that live in water. These animals breathe through gills. They have fins to swim. Their body is covered with scales. Examples are cod, mackerel, and shark. Amphibians. These animals live both on land and in water. Most of them breathe both through their lungs and the moist skin. Examples are frog, toad, and newt. Reptiles Most of these animals live mainly on land. They have scaly skin and reproduce by laying eggs. Lizard Snake and crocodile are reptiles. Reptiles Amphibians and fish are cold-blooded animals. This means that their body temperature changes with change in the temperature of their surroundings. Birds Birds have a light body. They are covered with feathers. They have wings that help them to fly. Example, sparrow, hummingbird, and eagle. Birds such as ostrich, kiwi, and penguin, however, cannot fly because they have a heavy body. They are called, flightless birds. Fact, hummingbirds are the smallest birds in the world. Mammals Mammals are a group of animals, that give birth to babies. Except the platypus. And, anteater. Their bodies have hair and mother suckle their young ones. Most mammals breathe through the lungs. Birds and mammals are warm-blooded animals. This means that their body temperature remains constant despite changes in the temperature of their surroundings. Example, human, elephant, horse, goat, cow, dog, etc. Where animals live? Animals are found everywhere. On land, on trees, flying in the air, and in water. Some animals are found on both land and water. Based on where animals spend most of their time, they can be grouped into terrestrial, arboreal, aerial, 
aquatic, and amphibian animals. Animals that live on the land are called terrestrial animals. These animals have features suitable for life on land. They have legs that help them to walk on land. Climatic conditions may vary from place to place. It is cold in the mountains and polar regions, whereas it is hot in the deserts. A white lives in mountains, and a polar bear lives in the polar region. A camel is found in the deserts. Animals such as seals, penguins, and walrus are adapted to live in freezing conditions. They have a thick layer of fat called blubber to keep their body warm. Animals such as bears, frog, and snake become inactive in cold winter months when the food is scarce. This inactivity during winter months or winter sleep is called hibernation. Animals living in deserts have very little hair on their body. Since there is a lack of water in the deserts, some animals, such as camels, drink a large amount of water at one time so that they can survive without water for many days. Showing down of activity or settling down to a long sleep by some animals during the hot summer months is called estivation. Aquatic animals Animals that live in water are called aquatic animals. Most aquatic animals breathe through gills, except whales and dolphins that breathe through the lungs. Most aquatic animals have fins or paddles that help them to swim. Apart from fish, octopus, turtle, and crab are also aquatic animals. Amphibians Animals that can live both on land and in water are called amphibians. The back legs of these animals are stronger than their front legs. This helps them to jump, which is how they move on land. They have webbed feet that helps them to swim in the water. Example, frogs and toads. Arboreal animals. Land animals that live mostly on trees are called arboreal animals. They have sharp claws to climb up and down the branches and usually have strong muscular limbs. Some can use their tails for holding on to the branches. Example, monkey and koala. Aerial animals. Animals that can fly and spend a lot of their time in the air are called aerial animals. Such animals have hollow bones that make their bodies light. They have one set of limbs modified as wings to help them fly. Almost all birds except flightless birds belong to this group. Bats also form a part of this group. What animals eat? Animals eat different types of food. Based on the type of food they eat, they can be divided into five main groups. Herbivores Carnivores Omnivores Scavengers and parasites. Animals that eat plants are called herbivores. Herbivores have sharp teeth for biting and cutting, and very strong teeth for grinding. Animals that eat the flesh of other animals are called carnivores. Most carnivorous animals have very sharp teeth for tearing out the flesh of its prey. Lion, Tiger, Snake and Lizard are examples of carnivores. Animals that eat plants as well as the flesh of other animals are called omnivores. Raccoon and bear are examples of omnivores. Human beings are also omnivores. 
Some flesh-eating animals feed on the flesh of dead animals. They are called scavengers. For example, crow, vulture, and hyena. Some small animals derive their nutrition from other living organisms. Such animals are called parasites. They may live on or inside the body of their host. Fleas and lice live on the host's body. Whereas tapeworm, roundworm, and hookworm live inside the host's body. Adaptations for protection Many animals have adapted themselves well to the environment to protect themselves from their enemies. Animals such as hippopotamus and elephants have thick skin to protect themselves from the heat in a hot climate. Some animals such as deer and gazelle have very strong legs and are able to run very fast. Some animals such as chameleon, zebra, arctic fox, polar bear, and frog can trick their enemies because their body color blends easily with their surroundings, thus confusing their enemies. This is called camouflaging. Grasshopper and the stick insect are other examples of animals that show perfect camouflage. Animals in danger Despite a lot of adaptations, the lives of several animals are in danger because of the destructive activities of humans. We are cutting down forests for our needs. By doing so, we are taking away the home and food of many animals. Thus, many animals are in danger of dying out. Some animals such as the dodo and passenger pigeon have already disappeared from the earth. Such animals are called extinct animals. Animals such as giant panda and tiger are in danger of becoming extinct. Such animals are called endangered animals. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget, to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.